Hello guys and welcome to today's FIFA 22 starter squad builder. So yeah, th thanks for buddy clicking on the video. So yeah, let's get into this. So we start off by going to the Bundesliga. Um, we do go for Belgium. Belgium should definitely be in the top nine leagues. Like definitely over at least like Portugal maybe. But, but the Belgium definitely needs to be up there. So yeah, we do go for Belgium and we do go for Castiles. Now, although this guy has had an inform, I don't reckon he'll get an upgrade. I do reckon he'll more or less just stay the same. So yeah, six foot six, mental height, left footed, but he's a goalie, so I'm not bothering. Great stats all round, especially when it comes like the kicking as well. Usually, like the goalies have like great all round, but lack the kicking. And for a six foot six goalie, he's actually quite quick to be fair, considering like I don't know, some like old goalies like Pantilla more more mad slow. So yeah, comes for crosses as well. I mean considering he's six foot six, I think he's gonna win most of the crosses. So yeah, won't cost more than maybe like five K just because he's eighty three rated. So yeah, at right back we do go over to La Liga. Brazil, and we do have for Emerson. Now, this guy is five foot eleven, great height, high medium work rates, average work rates for a right back, really full back. Uh, good pace, comes like the eighty pace. Uh, good attack positioning, to be fair, for a full back, he does have good attack positioning. Just his finishing is appalling, but I mean, you're not exactly gonna be shooting with him. Uh, good crossing. I do reckon this guy get an upgrade to maybe like 78, uh, buddy 79 or maybe 80 rated. Just since he's been like really hyped up, I think. Like I've seen him all over, I think it was like a couple of months ago. He was all over my buddy Instagram page and all that. So yeah, maybe like 79, 80 rated. Uh, probably have like 83 pace, like 76 defending, like 77 physical. Uh, I wouldn't say more than like, maybe like, for 5, 6k, just because he's from Barcelona, really. But, yeah. At right centre-back, we do go for Gabriel Paulista. Now, if you have the coins, you can go for Diego Carlos or Militao. But if it's the beginning of the game, I'm going to say you probably don't have the coins. So, we go for Gabriel Paulista. Not to say this guy doesn't have a bad card, though. Six foot one, good height. Low high work rate is perfect for a centre back. Uh, could have a bit better pace to be fair, but 68, as I said before, beggars can't be choosers. And he does have mental defending stats when it comes to the 87 interceptions, uh, 83 defensive awareness, actually like quite good. Uh, yeah, just mental defending stats. Um, yeah, good physical as well, to be fair, when it comes to like, the jumping, strength and aggression. I'm not sure if he's had any informs. Let's have a look. Paulista. Paulista. Gabriel. Buddy, trust me to buddy click, click on Paulinho. Uh, Paulista. I don't think he has, to be fair. Okay, he says... Yeah, he's had two informs, to be fair. So he probably will get an upgrade to 83 rated. But even still, at a push, you'll still probably only have like 70 pace. Uh, his defending will probably be like 85, to be fair. Um, and his physical will probably be about 85 as well. But just since he's slow, he'll probably still be like, maybe like 3, 4, 5k. Uh, just because he's slow, really. That's how it goes at the beginning of the game. So yeah, definitely worth the coin. Slap a shadow on him and you'll be laughing. At left centre-back, we do go for... or we, we do go over to the Bundesliga. France. And we do go for... Uh, oh, let's just go for his team this season. Oh no, actually, to be fair, let's just go for his... God, Bennett, what's going on here? Let's go for his silver common card. We go for Lacroix. Now, as you saw there, this guy has got a team this season. Before team this season, I'd not heard of this guy one bit. 
But I mean, considering his team season got like eighty nine or like ninety three pace or something stupid like that, this guy probably will get a massive pace boost in the next game. Six foot six foot three, which is a great height. Medium medium work rate, like nothing wrong with that. Just the average, like could be better, could be worse. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I mean, obviously sixty six rated. I mean, he's going to get a massive upgrade. Uh, I'd probably say like 78 rated, with like 74, 75 pace, um, 70, like 8, 79 defending, maybe like 80 physical, just because he already has like great jumping and strength. But yeah, maybe, I would say this guy probably will be a bit expensive at the beginning, maybe like, as I said, oh, maybe like, I don't know. 10 to 20k, but it will be worth all the coins since it'll just have mental pace and everyone will be raving about him. At left back, I'm, I'm guessing most people know who I'm going to put here. But we do go for a Rustilon. Now, this guy is a great starter card. Every year he's been mental. It's 5 foot 9, that makes him faster and more agile. High medium work rates, like average. Left footed as well, obviously, left back. A uh, good pace, it's just greens all over really, isn't it? A uh, good pace, good passing, especially crossing, good dribbling. Uh, it's just average all round. I mean, to be fair, for an 8 rated left back, he does have good defending. Um, I don't know if this guy will get a downgrade or not. I have a feeling it'll probably just stay the same. Um, but yeah, maybe like 79, but even still, there's no point because, I mean, he'll get like, he'll like a one downgrade or something. So yeah, this guy's always been like expensive at the beginning of the game. Maybe like 15 to 20k to be fair. Um, if you don't want to pay that, surely there's got to be some sort of like alternative French left back. Uh, well, apparently there isn't. No. So yeah, you're basically, yeah, 15 to 20k. Still a great card though. So yeah, as our right centre mid, we do, I do go over to Argentina. I'm not sure if he's transferred yet. Mate, no, don't look like it. But you go for, let's get him, you go for Paul. Now, as you can see, I mean, first of all, this guy has transferred over to Atletico Madrid. So, I mean, I'm just going to be using him as if he's from like, Atletico Madrid. He's got is that three informs in a team this season. So, this guy will get a massive boost. I'll say like maybe like 82, 83 rated. 5 foot 10, good height, makes him faster and more agile. High, low work rates. Perfect for an attacking player, really. Four star skill moves, perfect. Uh, I reckon since he will get a massive upgrade, he probably will get a weak foot. Uh, upgrade, maybe not though, to be fair, uh, which is a bit of a, da a let down, like downgrade, but even still, uh, I mean, pace isn't a massive, like, bother on a cam, as long as he's, like, got good, got good shooting, passing, and dribbling, which this guy does, um, yeah, I will reckon he d will have about 80 pace, like 80 shooting, like 83, 82 passing, about 85 dribbling as well. So yeah, finesse your trait as well, which is the best trait to have on any player really. So yeah, I wouldn't say more more than maybe like 10k, but again, will be a quality card. As our striker in game, we do go over to I think he is a cam in FIFA 21, and we do go for Mateus Cunha. Now yet again, this guy recently. Just signed for Atletico Madrid. He's six foot, great height for a striker. High low work rates, perfect. Four star, four star, perfect. Um, since I do reckon he'll probably get an upgrade like 81 rated, probably will have like 82 pace, maybe 81 shooting, and about like 84, 85 dribbling. But yeah, still really good. Got the leadership trait, which is perfect, which means like he'll be like getting more runs from uh, his teammates and things like that. 
has the flare trait, which like most forwards have really, and the outside foot shot trait, which is perfect to have on a striker. So yeah, at left centre mid, we go over to the French league, and we do go France CDM, and we do go for Benjamin Andre. Here you can go for like any league uh, French CDM, but I've have. I have opted for Benjamin Andre just since he's more or less like one of the more like middle rated, middle priced ones. So yeah, he's five foot eleven, good at high 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 work rate, perfect for a midfielder really. Um could be a bit faster, um, but since he does have like all yeah, could be a bit faster, has good passing could have better dribbling when it comes to agility and balance, considering he's only five foot eleven. Could be a bit taller. Um, like could have could have more agility and balance considering his height, which is what I can mean. Uh, yeah, good defending, especially like stand tackle and interceptions, perfect for a CDM. And good physical, really, when it comes to like the jumping, stamina, and aggression, perfect. Uh, yeah, I do reckon this guy will probably get like an upgrade to maybe like 81, since I do think he's had like an inform and a team this season. So yeah, maybe like 70 pace, maybe like 80, 81 defending, and about 85 physical. Does does also have the solid player trait, which is perfect, like for any, as I said before, like any defender or midfielder. And also the leadership trait, which is perfect for ACDM. I don't know why, it just seems like it will be, which is because like most CDMs or defenders are captains, so yeah, won't cost more than maybe like 3, 4k. At right wing, we do go for a more expensive player, to be fair. We do go for, so there's two, two options you can go for here. So number one is Lucas Vazquez, cheap. Cheerful, great work rate, high, uh, not not slow, like not it's just average pace, average dribbling, all that. So yeah, that's first option. Or you can go for poor two if you've got more coins. I mean, obviously go for poor two. If you don't, just stick with Lucas Vasquez. Five foot six makes him way faster and more agile. High high work rate, perfect for a winger. Just so they're getting back and helping out the full back with, to defend. Um, only three star skill moves, but I'm not bothered since I don't really do skill moves. And four star weak foot, perfect. Just because I love having good weak foot. A uh, great pace, great shooting, especially when it comes to the positioning and finishing. Uh, good passing as well, really, for a winger, especially like the vision and crossing. And good dribbling as well. Could have a bit better agility and balance, but even still, though, actually really good dribbling. Considering he's five foot six, he actually has got quite good like jumping, strength, and aggression. He does have the finesse trait, which is the best, as I said before, the best trait to have on a forward. So yeah, I'll I'll say like maybe like ten, fifteen k. He's more one of the more expensive players just because of his rating. I'm not sure if he'll get like a downgrade or not. Um, but, yeah, as our CDM, like, or slash striker, as our CDM in-game slash striker here, we do have four, I've seen on these, like, really high-rated players, so, like, like before, you can either go for Marino here, or I have gone for Danny Garcia, just since he's, like, lower-rated, and does that in my opinion, more of a solid card, especially for a CDM. 5 foot 11, like, okay, not too, like, tall, not too, like, um, small. Low high work rate, perfect for a CDM. Could be faster, but he's not going to be running around like lightning, is he? He's just a stationary CDM. Good passing when it comes to like, the short pass, long pass. Could have better dribbling when it comes to agility. Just so we can like maybe get like to interceptions quicker. Quality defending when it comes like the interceptions, awareness, stand tackle, and slide tackle. It's just his heading accuracy that's appalling, so he brings that like the rest of the stats down. Um, yeah, 
repetition. He's five foot eleven. He could have better jumping, but he does have mental stamina, strength, and aggression. So yeah, and solid player trait and leadership trait as well, which is perfect for a defensive-minded player. And in my opinion, he won't cost more than two k. Just since he's like slow and lower rated. And the left wing, we do go over to France. Um, and we go for Bamba. I'm not sure if there's any more left wingers. But as you can see, this guy's had a mental season this year. Coming, what's that? Is that four in forms? One, two. Yeah, he's at four in forms and a team a season. This guy's getting a mad boost. Let's see if there's any left mids that you can put in if you can't afford him. Um, left winger. Not really, to be fair, there's not really anyone that you can replace him with. So, yeah, it's got to get a massive upgrade, in my opinion. Maybe like 81 rated. 5 foot 9 makes him way faster and more agile. High, high work rate, perfect. 4 star, 4 star, perfect. Good pace. Uh, could have better shooting and passing, to be fair. And does have good dribbling. Um, yeah, probably will have like 91 pace with like 77, 78 shooting, and about 75 passing, and probably like, with like 70, uh, 83 dribbling as well. Yeah, this guy, this guy will get an absolute makeover on this card, and probably be about 10k as well, to be fair. So yeah, this is actually quite an expensive squad, squad builder. In my mind, like on foot being an, in my mind, I thought it would be quality, and it is quality. It's actually quite expensive in my mind thinking about it now. But even still, in game, we do go into the 4 2 3 1. Uh, play, or you can play, I'll play Bam from the left just because he's the left mid. 4 2 on the right, I'll play Deepal as our cam and Cunha up front. So, yeah, this is a squad builder. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching till the end if you've even made it here. If you just skip to watch the full team, fair enough, I know I probably would too. So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, have a good day, hope you enjoy your day. Please subscribe, like, turn post notifications on, have a good day and peace.